Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome to Mass Effect 3. This is Hill. We finally made it to the third and final part of the Mass Effect trilogy. Um, I guess we've got a lot of notes to go over before we begin, but we are going to be importing our character from Mass Effect 2. Let's go ahead and start the import process. It searches for characters to import. There's only one. I've only played one time after all these years on the PC, and that's Sendarius Shepard. But I just want to go over some things before we start the playthrough. Um, this Mass Effect game is going to be modded, and there are four mods that I'm going to be using this time. Uh, the first one, I've got my notes here, so you might hear some paper rattling. I'm old school. I wrote it down. So, um, the first mod, and I do need to add that the links for these mods will be in the description if you are interested in modding your own game. And I am playing on the PC, and the first mod is the Single Player Native Controller Support by ME3 Tweaks. So yes, this is PC with controller support, so it's going to look like a Xbox 360 only better as far as graphics go. All right, the other mod I am using is the A Lot of Textures, A Lot mod as it's most commonly called. The A Lot mod for ME3 by Creeper Lava. So we have all sorts of textures, retexturization that's been done to the game. Probably took me about two hours to do it with the, all the changes and stuff that were made. So. Hopefully on YouTube you'll be able to tell the difference in the textures and from I just play like the opening scene It looks really incredible. I mean, there, there's definitely a difference So, you know, I haven't gone deep into the game with these mods, but um, It should look really nice All right, the third mod we have is called EGM Expanded Galaxy Mod and this is by, let me get my glasses here. <laughs> this is by Kinkojiro. And it looks like Russ M. Zero and Melon and I Morai 8165. Now, this mod is going to take a little bit of explaining. This makes some really small and some really large changes to Mass Effect 3. So here's the uh, synopsis of what the mod is all about. It improves and expands on Mass Effect 3. It gives players the ability to create a more custom experience and improve immersive atmosphere. So what does that mean? Well, we get additional weapons and armor. We have an improved galaxy map. We have 17 new assignments. And we have the ability to customize the Normandy. Now, these are only the highlights. There's a lot more going on in this mod, and hopefully we'll discover those things together. All right, and the fourth and final mod we have is the mod that I could not play Mass Effect 3 without. Because people, when I played this game when it first came out, I was devastated by the ending devastated so what we have now is what's called m-e-h-e-m -E which is known as the mass effect happy ending mod and this is by mr fob so me him as some people might call it um this mod is a reinterpretation of the original endings. So, what does this mean? Well, first of all, this is a, a huge and welcome change. There is no catalyst. All right, so you don't have to have that annoying conversation 
with that ghost boy. Not in the game, doesn't exist. All right, and even more importantly than that, a brighter outcome for Commander Shepard. All right, yeah, I don't know if you were like some gamers that played the ending and when it was over, you were curled up in a ball on your sofa, scratching your head, not understanding what just happened. But yeah, this ending should make some clear sense to people. All right, so I just want to talk a little bit about my history with this game, Mass Effect 3. I have played it before. Many years ago, whenever the game first came out, was that like 2012 or something like that, I believe? Played it then. Played it two and a half times. So I played it first as a vanguard. Completed it utterly devastated by the ending. So whenever I could collect myself, I don't know how many months later that was. <laughs> and I tried to play it again. I played the Vanguard again, this time New Game Plus. But I quit. I, I couldn't do it. I just could not go through that ending again. It was just too heart-wrenching. And I, I just want to say, it's like, for video games, I know that Bioware said this was art and, you know, their ending was their, their, it was their thing. But this is also a video game. This is a franchise. This is a series. There are three games. So it is in their best interest not to have an ending that is so horrific that you have no reason to play the other games again. There, no, there was no reason to play Mass Effect 1 and 2 and even 3 again after the ending in this game. And that, that's really a poor business decision. That's just my opinion poor business decision to make the game so psychologically unappealing after you've experienced the ending. But anyhow, that's just, that's my rant. That's, that's what I have to say about Mass Effect 3 and my experience with it. So anyhow, that's the two, two and a half, I guess that's two and a half times. Actually, I guess that's the half. Okay, so the Vanguard, that's one. The Vanguard New Game Plus was the half, and I played later, this was like years later, I played as an engineer. So those are the experiences, the, the, the playthroughs that I've had with Mass Effect 3. Not many, if you compare that to the 478 times I played Mass Effect 2, because that game was excellent. But this one, wow, it was so devastating and so heartbreaking. All right, I'm sure you're ready for me to move on. Let's do our import of Sindarius Shepherd. Okay, so I guess we will take this last save here. And, uh, wow, I guess this is a summary of all the things that he's done. I guess we need to go over these things. Killed the Rachni Queen, rescued Caden Alenko on Vermeer, so you'll be seeing Caden in this playthrough. And I did that on purpose because I'm playing as an adept. And this Caden is also biotic. And he combos very well with Shepard. So that was some metagaming on my part. So chose to sacrifice the council. Saved Malin's data. Kept Rex alive on Vermeer. Chose to destroy the Geth heretics. Destroyed the collector base. Sur survived the suicide mission with 12 squad mates. Romanced Liara before ME2. Did not romance anyone in ME2. Is that it? I can't can't go down any further, so I guess that's it. Alright, well, let's do the import. Okay, people, this doesn't look anything like Cinderius. Wow, you've got to be kidding me. They even put hair on his head. All right, we have got to do some changes. Now, that's one thing about Mass Effect 3 that was different from all the other games. You can actually edit your character's appearance. 
in Mass Effect 3. You could not do that in the earlier games. So... Let's see. Now, if I accept the face... No, I guess I'm stuck with it if I do it that way. So if I do custom appearance... Is this going to start us over? No, okay. So we've still got the basic structure here. Uh, alright. Well, it's going to take me a while here. Let's see the hair. There we go. He had no hair. I don't know. It's making me think maybe I should give him hair. It's been a, a long and grueling experience for this poor guy. And I don't think they, there was much improvement in beards. It's too bad you couldn't have full beards and stuff in this game. So I guess he's still going to look like he always has. Okay, brow, keep that. Hair color, we need to lighten this if we can. Might not be able to. Trying to match the skin. Yeah, it's probably the best we're gonna do. All right. adjustment I wanted to make before and never could was to move the mouth up slightly. I guess that's good enough. I don't know, this just doesn't look like uh, <laughs> the Cendarius I remember, but okay. I'm just going to go with it. Alright, can we do anything with the iris color. Ah, oh, yes. This is the biotic blue I've been looking for. This is going to be it. And he is an adept. Okay. Let's go. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all.
In 2157, humanity discovered it was not alone in the universe. Thirty years later, they found a peaceful place among dozens of galactic species, but this idyllic future is overshadowed by a dark past. Reapers, a sentient race of machines responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life, every 50,000 years are about to return. The leaders of the galaxy are paralyzed by indecision. Can never finish that. <laughs> Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. Hmm. Well, I'm certain. It's the Reapers. And we're not ready for them. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the defense committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one. They blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us. What they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. Is that why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. When you blew up the Batarian Relay, hundreds of thousands of Batarians died. It was that or let the Reapers walk through our back door. I know that, Shepard. And so does the Committee. If it wasn't for that, you'd have been court-martialed and left to rot in the brig. That, in your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the Committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Shepard? Kate? How'd it go in there, Major? Okay, I think. Hard to know. I'm just waiting for orders now. Major? You hadn't heard? No, I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. Hmm, it's fine, Major. It's not like you learned the Reapers were coming and didn't tell me. I suppose you're right. Admiral. Come on. Do you know the commander? I used to. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. People I heard gasping. Then, how do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. 
and they'll never take pity on us. But there must be some way. Yes, survival at any cost. Each of us has to be willing to die to save humanity. Anything less, and they've already won. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? They couldn't be that close already. How they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. from Admiral Hackett. What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight, or we die. We should get to the Normandy. Follow Anderson to the spaceport. Let's just bring up our power wheel. All right, we still have our singularity. And we have warp, and it looks like throw. Let's go. Let's move! Look out! How do you stop having no power? That's a good question. Take a running jump. It's farther than it looks. Come on, let's go. This way. Looks clear. Let's go. Come on, let's keep moving. Major, you read me. I'm patching in Shepard. We're almost to the Normandy. I've got Lieutenant Vega with you. We're taking heavy fire. 
Husks! Take him out! Shoot him! You haven't forgot how to shoot, have you? Uh, do I need to? I'm using my biotics. Take him out! Shoot him! I'm out of ammo! Come on, we gotta move! Okay, so I just need to fire one shot, that's all, okay? Um... How do I get down here? Okay... Will certainly come in handy. Uh oh. What? there. <laughs> Come on, you've got to get out of here. Take my hand. You can't help me. Shepard! In here. Yeah, it's a shame that, you know, all of these little clues here, a lot of gamers thought this was the indoctrination theory that Shepard was becoming indoctrinated, seeing ah, things that weren't there. Mess. But Every all it turned out to be was a I won't be badly written story, I'm sorry to say. Alright, it's war. People die. You're not responsible for the ones that die. We fight for the ones left standing when it's all over. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I get so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the Council. The Citadel? The fight's here. It'll be everywhere soon enough. You said it yourself. The Reapers will destroy everything if we don't stop them. The Council has to help us. You sure about that? No, but you were a Council Spectre. That has to count for something. Gotcha! <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. <laughs> Grab some ammo. Reload, let's keep moving. Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Oh. Major Lanko, you're inside of the spaceport. ETA, three minutes. to re 
route. Do you copy? Normandy, come in. Friendlies. So as you can see, Mass Effect is taking a decidedly dark and somber turn. All right, let's go. You two all right? Get down, they'll see you. Keep your head down. Nice shot. Make sure I got all the ammo I can carry. Okay, let's talk to this injured soldier. What happened here? Our gunship was shot down. We barely made it. You have a radio? We're trying to contact our ship. No, there's one in the gunship, but it's gonna be crawling with those things. Stay here, son. We'll get you out of here. <laughs> Come on, let's get to that gunship. A harvester. Let's keep moving. What the hell are Oh, wow. Singularity out. Not able to use war because I'm not mapping the not hitting the right button. There we go. I'm claiming singularity. As you can see. Shepard's biotics are decidedly more powerful. So while he was relieved of duty, he worked relentlessly on improving his biotic abilities. Let's go. What's this? Oh. We have an M8 Shepard, Avenger. Over here. I found a radio. Okay. Let's activate it. Normandy, this is Anderson. Do you read? Admiral, what's your location? By a downed gunship at the harbor. I'm activating his distress beacon. Send support. We've got wounded down here. Major! Damn it! I've lost the signal. Let's hope that beacon does its job. And fast, we've got company. Hope they get there soon. You and me both. 
Wow, he's really li living up to the name of Singularis today. Alright, Anderson, steal my kill. saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. <laughs> the hell you're not! We're in this fight together! It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species and all their ships to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? Then make them listen. Now go! That's an order! I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated. Yeah, you do Commander. now. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you, and I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard. What the hell's going on? Where's Anderson? Where are we going? Hey! We're leaving. Leaving? What's going on? Anderson wants us to go to the Citadel, get help for the fight. Bullshit, he wouldn't order us to leave. Mm, he just did. He can see what's going on. Without help, this war's already over. Then you can drop me off at the nearest depot. Because I'm stoic, Lieutenant. 
You don't want to go. We get it. But this isn't a democracy. We're going to the Citadel. You want out, you can catch a ride back from there. Commander! Joker, that you? Alive and kicking. Got an emergency transmission from Admiral Hackett for you. Patch it through. Shepard. Same heavy losses. The force was overwhelming. There's no way we can defeat them conventionally. Anderson's already ordered me to the Citadel to talk to the Council. First, I need you to find our post on Mars. Now we lose control of the system. Yes, sir. I've been researching the Prothean archives with <laughs> Dr. Tassoni. We haven't found a way to stop the Reapers. The only way to stop them. Contact soon. Hack it out. Joker, set a course for the Mars archives. Mars? Roger that. This is local. Why Mars? What does he think we'll find there? I don't know yet. But if it helps us win this war... Grab your gear. Oh, we get a tutorial for the Expanded Galaxy Mod Armor Tutorial. EGM enables more flexible armors. You can choose between using full body kits with a fixed helmet and default colors or switching parts and tinting some armors. In armor set, select one for parts or for full sets, two, three, etc. If using parts in the body slot, you can pick a torso or a full body armor. If you pick a full body armor in the body slot, you should set the miscellaneous arms and leg slots to none. Miscellaneous includes shoulder armor and backpacks. Okay, well, I'm not sure if we're going to change the armor for this first mission. Well, all it does is give us a, a health boost. Okay, well, we certainly don't need defender armor. Okay, so power damage. It's probably what we're looking for in power recharge with no health boost. There is a shield boost, though. All right. I am going to go with the classic look, though, for now. All right, this will this will do. So we have a shuriken, hurricane. Oh, look at the Geth plasma thing. I guess we'll go with the shuriken. I think they made it more stable. Okay, those are shotguns. All right, we'll go with the predator. So, it doesn't look like I'm able to go up to... Okay, there we go. Yeah, give me an assault rifle. I'll take the Avenger. I'm 
So can I just have the Avenger and a pistol? All right, yeah, that brings up my re recharge speed to 155. Okay, um, who else? Who was who we got here? Is this James? Okay. All right, these mods look good. Are these weapons? These textures really look good. I'm Keep hoping this is coming through. We've got a massive storm headed our way. On YouTube. How long till it hits? Half hour tops. After that, we're going to have difficulty keeping up comms with the Normandy. Understood. All right, folks. Well, this is going to be ooh, level 31. Okay, I've got to level up. So, Shuriken 1. Oh, we already had access to the shuriken. Okay, let's wait for these, these updates to occur. Alright, so, if we can, yes we can, save. This is our first save we've been able to uh, initiate. Alright folks, we're going to end the video here, and when we continue, we are going to explore Mars. This is Hill, and I'm out.